top between the Bandits and the North Stars. On the left wing side, it's O'Connor that sends it ahead through center on the right. Here's McKechnie with a shot. That drifts wide of the goal on the blocker's side, and the North Stars try to carry back the other way. Puck held up at the left point now. It's Gene back down low here for McKechnie. On the left half wall, we'll send it back into the corner now below the goal line for McFoo. Right wing side now, Gene back for Foo. Wraparound scores. And an early goal for the Brooks Bandits, just 25 seconds in to period number one. It's Parker Fu that gives the Bandits an early one to nothing lead. Well, and Fu on a nice wraparound from behind the net. Krzybowski, I think, opens up the legs a little bit. It looks like it goes five hole. We'll get a look at it on the Jumbotron, but Brooks able to get the puck in to the Battleford's end and maintain possession. And one thing the North Stars are not able to do is get the puck out on a couple opportunities a nice little pass from Connor Jean to Fu Fu on the wraparound, and Brooks very early in this hockey game lead 1 0. So Parker Fu with the goal, and Brooks have the early 1 0 lead. A shot from the right side of the year is Perkusik. Leaving there for Mappin, right wing side. There's a shot by Sasana. Rebound loose in front. Mappin finds it in the slot. Back door. Tap in goal. A tic tac toe play. And it's the Bandits that take a 2 0 lead as Arno Vachon capitalizing on a gorgeous passing play by the Bandits at the tail end of their power play. And it's Brooks 2, Battleford's no score. Uh, and tic-tac-toe is bang on, Travis. Really no opportunity for Grzybowski to make this save. And all you can do is wonder where Battleford's are in front of the net there as you got three white jerseys untouched as they all touch the puck inside the top of the circles. And Grzybowski a bit of a high rebound and three black jerseys up above the top of the circles. Tough defensive play for the North Stars in the back of the net, two nothing for the Bandit. Got to be frustrated as Benson looks so, so good. And now a breakaway for Brooks. Look out, a knockdown pass. Here's McKechnie, two on oh. McKechnie in, pass across, Chow scores. A two on oh developing late there with Josh McKechnie and Oliver Chow. McKechnie faked the shot, pass blocker side. Chow scores and Brooks goes ahead by a field goal. It's three to nothing, Bandits. What well, a tough one, a power play with some couple opportunities for the Battleford's North Stars and Benson makes a couple good save, including a great glove stop with a bit of a rebound and the puck's cleared from out front and then before you know it, pretty much a two on O all the way in from the blue line and Chow finishes it off on the path. There and clearing it as tight to the line, held there at the left point by Downs, near side now. Finds his man in Allen. Finds Young, Lane Young walks in, top of the right circle for Clybourne, midpoint, left wing, Downs holding, shooting scores! Looked like it was tipped in front, Downs with the initial pass in front and a power play goal for Battlefords. Gets them back in this hockey game, it's 3-1 Brooks. Well, Battlefords does a good job, chip this puck into the corner and go get a turn, force the turnover and then work the puck up top and Trev, I think you're right, it's like a shot pass to the front of the net. Looks like it gets redirected along the ice and beats Benson along the goal line on the left side. And we'll get a look at the replay here. Is see if we can see any contact in front. But that's a big power play goal for Battleford. Give them some life in this game. This will be the better view, this overhead view on the down shot in front. That looked like it was tipped in front, and it was. It looks like Holanani may have got the tip here. Rosenberg back to the midpoint. Maneg holds, shoots. That's blocked down in front there by Martian. Finding him is McKechnie. Out of the box is Gene. He's got a breakaway. Connor Gene, and he scores! Connor Gene out of the penalty box, fed on a breakaway by Josh McKechnie. And it's a 4-1 Bandits lead with 15-19 to play in period three. Well, and the second time we've seen this, the other one a 2-0, on this one a breakaway. It's the end of the power play, and I'm not sure if Chris Bowski's maybe not clapping his stick or if the high man for the North Stars is not looking behind him, but that's twice now that we've seen a 2-0, on now a 1-0 on for Gene from McKechnie, and nobody picks him up as he comes out of the box. Left-handed shot comes in, fakes backhand, goes forehand under the right arm of Grzybowski, and it's 4 nothing. excuse me, 4-1 for the North Stars. Face-off won by Brooks, it's cleared by Marshan, back down ice with 14 seconds to go. Grzybowski will leave it there for Maneg, who will be flushed out from behind his goal now by Plessy. Eight seconds to go in the period there as he dropped it now, and back out through center, it'll be wristed back in by Nightingale. Benson's gonna hold it, and that's gonna do it for this hockey game.
The Brooks Bandits come away with a 4-1 victory over the Battlefords North Stars in Day 5 of the Western Canada Cup.